hi guys welcome back again to this video it's makes from the mix creation in today's video we are going to look at the fifa world cup contract we are going to look at the fifa world cup jobs in case you are living outside qatar in case you are outside this country we look at this contract then we are also going to look at the agents remember why we have to address this i have to address this to you people and i have to let you know what is happening i know most of you you've gotten what you call job offers in one way or the other from the time you applied for that recruitment agents you've got job offer but up to now you have not received what you call a visa or you've not got that visa to let you come into the country this is what i have to let you know and this is what you have to know remember when we are talking about a job offer most of you i told you we talked about the job offer and i'll give you i'll, I'll put a link of, of of that video that i talked about the job offer and what is being spirited and what is being written on the job offer but remember a job offer normally expires within one week that is what you have to know normally that job offer has what you call an expiration date so if you definitely have to check that job offer that was given to you you will check it has to must have what you call an expiration date that is why some of you you got through uh, you go through and uh, you, you went through what you call interviews and up to now you've not got the visas what is what is the situation what is the situation right now and what we need to understand most of these companies that gave you job offers they must have been filled up to capacity and they cannot hire anymore they cannot look root anymore remember i told you the job offer is only one week it's only mostly at times is only valid for one week so most of these companies might have got to what you call full capacity they cannot hire it anymore but where the drama comes from or where the the other disadvantaged part of it all that comes in is what you call the recruitment agencies away from our countries what do the recruitment agencies do they will definitely do not tell you the truth they will not tell you that those companies are not recruiting or are not are not are not recruiting anymore or they are too full to capacity they've stopped what we call the recruitment so what they will do they will continue convincing you that the visas are coming the jobs are the visas are coming the jobs are there but remember when we are talking about that kind of situation when we are talking about that situation these agents are aimed at what we call money they are looking for what you call commission or they are looking for that money they don't care about you that is why most of our brothers out there are there with the job offers the job offers already expired but they do not have the visas but remember mind you what i have to let you know when you get that job offer that job offer is normally uh, at mass it's normally valid for one week so normally they have what you call an expiration date which is quite very important for you to check always make sure you check that expiration date of that job offer so that is why you are seeing right now most of you have the job offers but there is no visas there is no visa meaning that one expired you need to get something new and something that you need i still i need also to let you know it's the fifa world cup contracts there are some companies that are hiring people for three years for for three months contract only there are some companies that are hiring people for six month contracts but still also you need to be very careful look at this agent that is going to take a lot of money from you this agent let's say for example this agent for let's say for example is going to take around three thousand qatar real or it's going to take three or four thousand qatar real promising you what you call a fifa world cup job which is going to give you maybe paying you around two thousand qatar real but remember this is for only three months what does it mean to be in a country in three months remember the probation period normally of these countries of these gulf countries is normally six months so meaning that your stay in the country will be half of what you call the probation period it's only three months so meaning that still what you need to let you know that within that three months your employer or someone employing you can be with you without what you call a residence permit and the only way that you can move or the only way that you can stay safe in most of these gulf countries is having what you call the residence permit 
and for the three months you can still be in the country without medical but you don't have a residence permit the only that can permit your safety is having what we call the residence permit so what do i have advice to my own point of view i advise people we have a few months to live to the end of this year we have only five months left to the end of the year we have a few months to the fifa world cup so what do you need to do if you can reserve yourself for next year, when the recruitment, you have a genuine recruitment, it can be okay. If you can just persevere and reserve yourself at this period of time, collect your money, collect your commission, collect your input, prepare documents for next year. Because it's only five months left. And remember, when the FIFA World Cup starts, there will be a lot of restrictions on entry. There will not be visa being given up. This main focus as a country will only be looking at what you call the football fans that are coming. And its main focus will only be looking at those people that paid what you call the tickets. Because for those people that paid the FIFA World Cup ticket, they'll have a visa of three months. And that visa of three months is going to be running from October until December 31st. Meaning that if you already have a ticket, a FIFA World Cup ticket to come and watch the games, you'll, your visa will only be a visa visa of only three months, which is going to be from October until December 31st. So meaning by, by around January 1st, all people after the World Cup, they will be out of the country. So by around February 1st, we expect the country to go back to normalcy whereby they will have more recruitments. And remember, when we are talking about the latest developments that we are talking about, I told you, next year 2023, there is what you call Expo 2023 Doha, Qatar. That will be also another set of opportunities. So if you can try to save your money, that will be cheated out of you by what you call the recruitment agencies. It is going to be fine, it's going to be fair to you, and it is going to save you a lot. That is what I have to advise to you to my own understanding and to my own point of view at this time. So definitely, meaning that it's the only way that you can get off to save yourself. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. If it's your first time, please consider supporting this channel. By the way, don't forget to click the notification bell. You'll always be updated wherever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for support. It's always next from the next creation.